This project has been all about engaging with communities, helping them to engage with their local train station through working with artists. The railway over the years has been very, very good at looking inward, whereas what we want them to turn around and actually look out of the station at the community. I'm working with a couple of schools at Heimburn Park and Peel Park in Accrington and we're producing artwork from the children's work and it's going to be bright and it's going to be colourful. It's going to be welcoming people coming in to Accrington Station. The theme of the project is memorable journeys and they're going to do a little bit of research on the history of the railways in Accrington, also a little bit of the history of the communities in Accrington. So you've got an artist who is encouraging them to do creative work and we've got one of my team who is teaching them about rail safety. So it's a good double act. It's all about introducing them to the railway. We have been looking at old maps. It's been really amazing to learn everything about Accrington. So you've got a picture and a map of what Accrington was like when the railway first opened in 1848. I've never done anything like it before. I think it'll be amazing because it's like showing the world our artwork. Today we're going to be designing lots of really colourful words based on where they would like to go on the train. Anybody else got any other suggestions? Yes. Bury. Bury, you could be bury. We've had to be creative and use our imagination, so we've been using bright colours and thinking about what the place would look like. It's exciting for people to see your artwork. And it's also a lot of pressure. It makes me feel excited and nervous at the same time. It's just brilliant to see it go up and it really stands out against the fence. We were planning on having a massive event with both schools being involved and unveiling the artwork, which is absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, due to COVID, it had to be scaled right back. We unveiled the artwork and the children got to see it. There were three children from each school in their little bubble. I think the children had a really positive experience working with Alistair. All the children that take part in any project that he leads for us as our artist, he makes sure that every child's piece of work is included. I think it makes them feel really empowered as well in the community. It makes them feel confident that they're doing this exciting project and it's something different for them. It's made me feel quite helpful for the community. Others can see what I can do and what my friends can do. The children's artwork is going to be something they can be proud of years to come. Bring the families down, show the families. And it'll encourage them to come to the station to use the trains to travel and consider this as their railway station, their railway line. Myself and Rob, we're working on Brayfield train station and we're kind of responding to the area, doing workshops to the community and hopefully reinvigorating the space. We've run a month-long series of workshops, so they all carry the same themes. So the first week we did a photographic workshop, then today we made the anthotype prints. The fact that they're very sort of passionate about what they do and it's about sort of engaging with people to see the surroundings in a different light really. My dad worked on the station when there was actually a station building there. We relied on trains really for everywhere we went so I really felt I wanted to be part of it. It's time for the station to get a bit more of attention. It's right next door to Brayfield Mill which is now being developed as North Light. Artists just being around, seeing things and then coming up with alternative solutions is really important in the development of these spaces. Railways are a hugely important part of a sustainable transport strategy. The great thing about this project is we're taking something that was built in the 19th century and we're giving it a modern future. We're, we're sort of reinvigorating it and improving connectivity. The work that you see here today is a mix of archival imagery, um, images that they've taken as they've been out and about, and work that they've done with the community of Bryfield from their workshops. I've lived in Bryfield my whole life, so it brings back memories. I think it's a wonderful idea. Every new person brings new ideas, so it's good. A really important part of Institute's practice is the way that artists will engage with the community in a very embedded way. By artists working with the local community, we can really gather momentum around these things that can then be taken forward to bring about really positive changes in Briarfield. We're looking forward to seeing the work installed at the platform. I've come to join in the opening of the artwork in the poster boxes there. It's very good. 
very good indeed. I like the way the berries are there because Briarfield is known for berries. It stands out really well and I really like it. Any kind of local art should be about and for the people who live here. We want people to be part of it. We want people to continually engage with it. You've got the canal, you've got a footpath to that, you've got the road just up to Briarfield Town Centre there. The railway station should be in the hub of the community. I've been commissioned to um, do some artworks at Ramsgrove and Wiltshire Station and I have been working with local communities and local schools and colleges to create ideas and designs around a theme of Along the Line. We went on the train to Manchester. We've been doing questionnaires to find out where people work and we visited an art gallery and the craft centre. It inspired us a lot. We really wanted to look at careers as an angle and get and then to think outside of the box of what the future could be. Working with Karen taught me a new like style. She's just given us a lot of new opportunities and skills. I've worked with Blackburn College and they've been taking photos, but also working with the Talbot Archive. You could do potentially a series of images, but just then and now blending sort them, of, you oh, know. Wow. We've been installing some artwork here at Ramsgreve and Wiltshire Station and there are some really big pieces of artwork going up that look stunning. You can see this one behind me um, and this is a really lovely collection of photographs that are a mixture of ones taken by students at Blackburn College and ones that are from the Talbot Archive. We've also installed the artworks from Ribblesdale High School. The young people have put all their wishes and desires for the future in terms of career, in terms of life and, and aspirations that people coming through that train station will be able to see and hopefully give them a sense of what they could explore down the line. Well, I was very keen to involve some local communities. In this case, it was the Alzheimer's Society who we worked with to get their thoughts and memories of train journeys. We've got some bits and pieces in the shelters that tell the tale of the local orphanage and also a little bit about the history of the line. The fact that the artwork has been done by local communities and local schools in tandem with the local rail network is at the pure heart of what Community Rail Lancashire is all about. I just want to say what an amazing opportunity it was for our students. It's really inspired them and I'm hoping it's going to inspire future um, careers for those students involved. So we were just honoured to be a part of it. It shows that the station is a community place and that people in the community have been involved. People are happier to come away to the station that looks like it's been loved. If someone's having a bad day at work, they're going to go to the train station and they're going to just see all like the bright colours and all the fun stuff on the walls and it might make them happy, so that makes me happy. I hope that people coming along to the railway stations that we've worked on will enjoy viewing what's there. It really is all about that let's connect the railway with the local areas. Projects like this are so, so important and I think these really show just how you can make the station itself part of the community by getting more people involved and really making it something that people have a sense of ownership for. We hope that more people get on trains, you know, more people use uh, active travel to get to the station so they walk and cycle. It's important that people know that this is an, a way of travelling which is sustainable. When you're waiting for a train and you're looking at something that somebody's contributed to and reading a little bit about it, it makes you understand that this is a community place and the kind of community that it serves. And I think that's really important. Mm -hmm.